If you want to learn how to use 3D objects in DaVinci Resolve Fusion page, you are in the right place. If you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I'm here today to teach you how to use 3D shapes in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it. So this is what I'm going to show you today, how to make your own 3D objects like this one, it's the moon, or you can do something like this one, the lower thirds where you have your earth rotating over here. So for doing that, let's jump into our media pool, right click and new fusion composition and let's give it the name 3D earth. For example, let me resize it a little bit. I want to 0.4 seconds and let's create our fusion composition. Let's go to our fusion composition, double click it. And here we are in fusion. Now for doing our 3D objects, we come here to this part of our tools and we have all these tools and more, but this has the main tools over here. So this one is the plane, image plane 3D, the shape 3D, the text 3D, the merge 3D, the camera 3D, the spotlight and the merge 3D. If you saw my video about the particles, I said that you have always to use the particle render. Here is the same. We always have to use our render 3D to render our 3D objects. So let's start our adding our render 3D and let's add a shape. So let's start by adding here a shape. Let's connect to this to over here and this over here. And we have our image over here. That is, if you come to the inspector, select the shape 3D and come here to the inspector, we can see that the shape, it's a plane that is selected and you have all of these options like a, a cube, a sphere, a cylinder, a cone, a torus and ICO. Let's choose the cube. As you can see, you have here a cube. You can resize the, sh the size of the over here and you have all of the other options and in here the materials the color everything all the transform the settings everything in here but in my case we're going to use the sphere so the sphere is too big let's reduce the size a little bit and so it's smaller so we have our sphere and if you come here to the materials you can change the color you can change the specular all of that but in gonna leave it like it is and and we have the transform that I'm going to show you in a minute. As you can see, it's a simple sphere, a white sphere, and you can change the color for any color that you want, but it's always a, a simple color. If you want to add some texture, you have to choose an image to wrap around. Let's come here and come to this earth. In this is, is a tiff. In this case, it's transparent, so if I connect it, over here, you have the earth over here that is transparent. And if you play it, you don't see any difference because you don't have any animations. First, let's animate our earth. Let's put it rotating. For doing that, we come here to the transform and we come here to the rotation. In our case, I want to rotate in the Y axis. For doing that, we go to the first frame of our timeline and we come here and I'm going to put it minus 180 degrees and I'm going to add a keyframe to here. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to change this to 180. And now if I play it, you can see that it's rotating. So it's already rotating, but it's not very good because you don't see the interior. It's like it's transparent. So it's not very pleasant to us. So let's add the interior of the earth. For doing that, we're going to duplicate this shape. So control or command C and for paste it, we're going to paste it as an instance. So for doing that, control or command shift V. And as you can see, it's connected. As you can see, this line, this means that 
that it's an instance. This one is an instance of this one. So any change that you do in this one will affect this one also. And if you come here to the inspector, you can see that you have all these green squares in the numbers over here in the control. So it means that is linked for unlinking this. You have to the instance for doing that. You double click in the word, in this case, in the radius where it says the name of the function over here. You just right click it and you come here and where it says the instance. And as soon as you, the instance, you notice that it will disappear. And now you can adjust only this parameter so now let's merge this together and for doing that you can do this and connect it over here that it will create a merge 3d and it's over here and now we come to this one and let's reduce a little bit of the size and as you can see now you just see the first sphere with the image here the media with this media in and now and in here is the white one. Now let's, if we play it, we can notice that both of them are rotating together. Okay. So this part is done. Now let's push this a little bit and now let's add a text 3D. Just drag and drop it over here and let's connect our text from our output and connect it here and you will notice something different because this merge allows more than one input the merge 3d has multiple inputs it will merge multiple inputs okay so let's go to our text and if you come here to the text let's write earth and let's change it to black and now, as you can see, it's behind. So the text is behind. So let's put it in front of our planet Earth. For doing that, we come here to the 3D transform and we'll come either translation and gonna give it a little bit over here to the front and we're gonna give it a little bit here. Now let's go to the text. Then resize this a little bit and I'm going to change here for the font and over here the black. Now you can notice that the earth is rotating and the earth, the word earth is in front. Now if you want to give it some movement to the word earth, let's go to the, this is a, a pure example. Let's come here and I'm going to do the transform 3D and we're going to make the earth appear. So let's add a keyframe over here, over here and over here. So let's first scale this down a little bit. Let's put it something like this. I'm going to put this in the center over here. And now uh, it's over here in the equator. And let's put this inside. If you see here, it's the position where it is. We're gonna, we can come here and this is one, this is the other one. And we can do something like this and inside. Let's find it, it's inside. Now we come to the last frame and you can also use it in here and let's give it also this two and first let's come it come over here somewhere around here and let's put it over here and let's put this less a little bit less over here and scale this a little bit and adjust it like this and it's done. Now, if we play it, look what's happened. So it's from inside and it's increasing. And it's done. Now, if you go to the edit page over here, let's remove this one and let's add our 3D earth over here. Let's 
add our background over here and if you put over here you can notice if I play it there is appearing no it's almost immediately so let's come back to our fusion composition let's go to our first let's come to the text and go come here and give it a little bit if I play now it takes more time to come out so it's coming out somewhere around here and I want it come somewhere around here and this is the final result if you go to the edit page and we play it and there we have it so as you can see it's very easy to work with the 3d uh, shapes in fusion and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learned something today and if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video until there bye